Shalom Aleichem, blessings and great, great thoughts toward you, great energy toward you all for you to be happy and healthy and wealthy in a pure way with a stable mind and a happy heart and a wishing soul. I wanted to share a few thoughts with all your precious souls for you to think about those very amazing words that I'm about to tell you and hopefully it will inspire you to find new tools how to achieve high and elevated happiness and how to understand deep and meaningful understandings about yourselves, about your spirit, about your feelings, about your emotions. The Creator, He is the Father of Mercy. We know His goodness is the deepest, the most powerful and great that can ever be described. Much greater than no matter how much we're going to imagine and, and, and aim to the highest levels of His kindness, we won't be able to describe His greatness. That's Him. Now, He Himself, in through the Bible, in through the Righteous Ones, in His in the Bible that He gave us, described us, His children, the nation of Israel, and for sure that we can understand that it relates to the rest of all the creations in the universe. We are His children. We been created by Him and we are the result of His unconditional love. Now, we as His children that holds an amazing spirit inside of us, a portion of heaven from above, a godly soul inside of our bodies, are holding treasures that are very, very precious and beautiful as well. Because the Zohar Kadosh and the Gemara is talking about it as well, that the Creator, He created us from inside Himself, because there was nothing except of Him before of creation. And then He created something out of nowhere. And that nowhere is Himself. That place that was above the place, that spirit that was above physicality, brought out from inside of itself the amazing and beautiful creation that we see and know as of today. Now, who we are? We are reflections of His greatness. We are shapes that are showing His godliness in all the aspects of creation. If it's the fruits, if it's the water, if it's the trees, if it's the beautiful animals, the views, the peak of the mountains, the sunsets and the sunrises, all the amazing particles of creation, fish in the sea that are swimming and the huge whales jumping uh, in the ocean, dolphins that are swimming in, in, in pairs and, 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 and making shapes while jumping and being happy. If it's the small tiny monkeys and the large gorillas, if it's the lions and, and the leopards and tigers and cheetahs, if it's all human race with all their differences and cultures and ancient history, if it's the butterflies and the flies, if it's the birds and the bees, if it's the snakes and, and the lizards and, and the, 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 the tiny singing birds and the huge vultures, all creation is reflecting the godliness, the huge range of beauty that together is showing some of the greatness of our beloved Creator. Now, as those reflections of His majesty, of His greatness, we must understand that we, in a way, are beautiful as Him because we been made by Him. We are His creation. We are the ones that He made from inside, from Himself, and we are those ones who reflect His beauty. Now, what happened between Him and us? 
thousands of years of exile and thousands of years of bad words that have been said to us created a certain dividing in the spirits, created a place that inside of ourselves we feel isolated and separated from His greatness. And therefore we cannot understand who we really are. And we feel that we are low and pathetic and hopeless and worthless and lousy and poor and broken. And we started to feel like that. Our self-esteem fell to such horrible places that we lost our true identity. And therefore we're not seeking and not desiring and not hoping and not doing whatever it takes to achieve those godly things that are the true potential of our spirits. And we lost our mind. That's basically what that happened to all of us. We totally lost our minds. We forgot who we are. And even if you're going to say, no, I remember I'm Jewish. Oh, no, I remember I'm Israeli. Oh, no, I remember I'm a, a child of the Creator. You don't. You don't remember. You don't realize what it means still to be the child of the Creator. And all the work and all the effort of the evil inclination, of the Yetzirah, of the darkness, of the snake, is to separate us from the truth it's to break our self-esteem to a horrible place of sadness and despair that we're going to sense and feel the black bitterness of the sadness and the depression and the stress and pressure of those days that we're living in and we instead of following all this mess all this noise we need to focus in the true inner voice of our spirits and to relate ourselves to the inner honest voice of truth that is rising and appearing from within. We must come to those deep realizations of the true beauty of our spirits. We must listen to our inner voice with honesty, to listen to the voice of truth that is telling and guiding us, hinting us and showing us the right way of how to accomplish the real important things in life, how to use our true potential, how to enjoy the bounty of opportunities that are spread in front of us, how to use the amazing talents that we've been blessed by. And the truth is that each and every one of us has those amazing tools in the, in, in the reach of his hand, and we can just take it. But we need to believe that it's over there. You need to believe that your talents are beautiful. You need to believe that the qualities of your spirit are fantastic. And you should believe that there is much more to reveal about yourself and to find out. And for that you need to try. You need for that to try and to give yourself a chance. <clears throat> to give a chance for life. To give a chance for yourself to become that blooming and awesome, fantastic creation that you've been created to be. I promise that I will pray for you and I will continue to pray for you. And our Muna project is built for those precious souls like you that are seeking the truth, that are seeking goodness and kindness to be revealed in the world. And therefore we open this amazing project to give an opportunity a hand to all those ones who desire the truth with no end. And may the Creator bless us all always to be happy and healthy and wealthy in purity and in holiness, that we won't lack a thing and that always we're going to see smiles and satisfaction on the face of all our loved ones. And may the Creator answer all our prayers and requests in no time and we're going to be redeemed completely with a happy heart and a wishing soul. Amen. The world is not existing. Because Olam Milchon Elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. We're just inside of an illusion.